हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ आर बाप ग्राफ सीरीज इट इज द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ आर बी एफ एस एंड डी एफ एस ट्रेवल विच वी हैव बीन डूइंग सो फार इट इज द मिक्स ऑफ बोथ बी एफ एस एंड डी एफ एस फॉर योर uh like in this video we're going to see the power of shortest bridge but if you want to try on you can also try minimum cost to make at least one valid path in a grid before further ado let's start with the problem itself what the problem is saying it's very normal as standard the matrix question which we have been seeing so far but you will actually see what is the trick behind it the problem is saying that you are having a n cross n binary matrix which means you are having a matrix which is binary having numbers in the matrix as 0 or 1 where 1 represents land cool 0 represents water as we have been seeing okay 1 represents land 0 represents water you can have any number represent anything cool an island is a four directionally connected group of ones not connected to any other ones they are exactly two islands in the grid so basically we have the grid in which one connected group of ones is one island and one connected group of ones is another island and in total it is saying that you have exactly two islands mark words exactly two group of ones cool uh, you may change your zeros which means water to one to connect two islands basically between two between two islands you have water right so to actually connect these two islands you can replace your water with the land so that these two islands will actually connect that it is saying return the smallest mark of words smallest number of zeros you must flip which means change your zero to one which means change your water to land smallest number to flip that you need you can connect two islands let's look at the problems examples very easily i have shown your example in form of a grid matrix uh, so one represents land which is in green color and zero represents water which is in blue color uh, so what options you can have is you can just replace this as one now see initially it is not connected it is one island it is one island then not connected although you could see that okay they are one they are at this touch but when we say connected we say four directionally connected which means left right top bottom it is four directionally connected it is not if i just add one element here or one element here then these will be connected to each other which is also connected to it so now to actually make them connected i can add a one here or i can add a one here it just connected so number of smallest number of zeros i flipped to actually connected was one i can flip just one zero and i can just connect them both the islands are now connected answer is one in the next example i have one island here and one island here to actually connect them i can just replace water one still it is not connected because still you can see it is not connected or now i can just replace a one here or what i can do is i can replace a one here now they are connected so how many ones i have to add i have to replace two zeros to ones to actually make these two islands as connected in the next example what will happen you will see you have a green island you have the next of this island to connect them you can see you can change any of these water locations any of these water locations you changed it right here now it is become one it is now done is now an island so now you can see it is now connected now you have got just by replacing one zero you have got the island now the first thing okay aryan uh, as i read the questions i have been given the smallest number of uh, zeros i need to flip which means from one island in smallest number of steps i need to reach to the next island so uh, smallest number of steps which means shortest path from one island to the next island shortest path oh shortest path from one place to next place i can do a bfs but aryan it's an island which means every of the land parts are very different and scattered which means okay it is one island in which every of those part are very scattered right uh from which of the cell because i knew one thing that we start bfs from one node right so from which nodes shall i start how to choose that node 
not sure, right? So why not? Let's try with every possible node, which means from one island, I need to reach to the next island. So how about from this land piece right here, I just try to do a BFS and reach in the shortest step to the next island, which means I just had to do a BFS and reach this island in one, two, three, four steps. All I can do is I can just try and reach from here to here. As simple as that. I can reach from here to here. And as soon as it reach, it just is adjacent and it can just connect two islands. All I can do is I can reach from here to here. I can do is I can reach from here to here. I can do is I can reach from here to here. I have multiple ways, which means I can do a BFS traversal from island one of every, which means I have to do the BFS traversal from every node of the island one. And then I can reach my island two. But I think what's the complexity like? Then if you just say, okay, you have to do the BFS traversal from every node of the island one. Every node, how many nodes can be there? N square nodes, because worst case, it can be half full. Cool. To do the BFS traversal from one node in a matrix, as we have seen, it takes N square time. It is O of N power 4. That seems pretty large, no? Although it can happen that your solution might get submitted, but it's way too large. Can we optimize it? Just a question for you. What you would see, what you were trying to do was you just go on from every cell and you were trying to do a BFS. Right? Individually. I just ask you one question. Why it is necessary to start individually? Which means if you have this island right here, why not? You can start BFS from every cell simultaneously which is actually a multi-source BFS, which we saw in lecture 8. How a multi-source BFS is done? It is nothing but rather than starting from one node itself, you start from multiple nodes simultaneously as the first nodes. So basically, in one step, what will happen is these all, it will go here, 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 uh, sorry. Um, yeah, here, 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 here. You see, in one step, I just try to expand my island one. It is just, it is nothing but a bit first search. Earlier I was trying, okay, let's go on to every land piece of island one and try to do a BFS. But because of that, I'm going on to every land again and again, rather start BFS from the whole island itself and try to expand that. Now in the next step, what will happen is my island will, what, will again expand because it's just a BFS traversal, which is try always try to expand breadth first search, breadth wise, it expands. Okay, cool. It's expanding, 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 expanding. Now, cool. Step one, expand it. Step two, expand it. It is nothing but we are doing a multi source BFS, which means from multiple nodes, I'm just expanding out, expanding out. Right? That is it. Now, what will happen is in the next step, it will just again go, 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 again, 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 again. And now you will see that your one has reached here, which means it is now connected. So in the step three, we have just reached. How simple it had become. Firstly, what you did was you just grabbed all the elements of your island one all the elements of your island one in the next step okay how to grab all the elements of the island one by just a simple pfs just grabbing all the elements in one whole position what we do a third fill how is a third fill finding one component a flood fill exactly same thing that okay you just grab all the elements and you are good to go so you will just do a pfs traversal to find the elements in the island one and as soon as you got all the elements, you will just start your multi-source BFS to actually reach to island 2. As soon as you reach the island 2, it will be the shortest distance, which means the minimum number of, smallest number of zeros which you need to flip. And that will be my answer. Now, let's see the code pretty quickly. 
it is exactly very easy. So now moving on to the code part. Sorry, I have to cut because the person game and my lovely protein bars are here. I just love this flavor. I don't know why I'm taking this, but yeah, let's move on to the code. It's pretty simple. I will firstly grab the island one notes by simple kept first search traversal, which is nothing but flood fail, finding the component, anything you can say. We have seen in the last videos very clearly. Why Aryan? Why you just you just wanted the traversal, right? Then you can also do that by BFS. Why you're opting to do the first search traversal? Yeah, yeah, for sure you can get all the nodes of your island one by just a breadth first search traversal also. Because finding one component is just traversing that component and traversal. It can be completed by both BFS and DFS. But I've always said a DFS code is much, much, much shorter in comparison to a BFS code. So it will be faster. That is the reason. Fast in a sense to write, to code in an interview, to code in an online system, it will be faster. That's the reason. We just think of the depth first search way to actually find the connected component, which means the island one nodes. Cool. Now let's look at the problem. It's very, very, very simple. Firstly, I have initialized everything, which means visited array, my directions, which is four directions connected, which we have seen in the last video also that if we connect a node, then how the nodes are four directions connected, all that stuff. Uh, we move to X I plus one comma J I minus one comma J I comma J plus one I comma J minus one and so on. So that is, we have this direction. Uh, I have this cube as a pair of int comma in. You can also have a queue of vector, uh, but it is much slower in C++. So pair of int comma int is much faster, but I have shown you both the ways in the last video also. Uh, now everything is initialized. I will just go on and try to find the island one. So as soon as I reach the first node, which is the land, I will do a first search traversal from that first node, first land node, I will just try to do a depth for search traversal with that. I will visit the entire island one. Cool. Then I just did a, a traversal of entire island one, but I need to make sure that all the nodes of island one, I need to push it in my queue. So what I'm doing is it is a standard simple depth for search traversal that I'm just moving on to the base condition, which we have, which we have seen so, so many times that the first condition is it should be inside the grid. It should not be visited. It should be a land. If any of thing violates, which means if it is not a land, if it is already visited or if it is out of bound, I need to return. That is it. Now, as it is valid cell, I can go on. Firstly, I will make that as visible because I don't want to visit that again and again. I will push that in my queue because I need to start a multi-source BFS from my island one. That's the reason I'm pushing that in my queue. And now just going from that cell, going on to the every of those neighbor cell from that cell, going on to every of those neighbor cell to actually do a standard for search traversal. Now, now what you have found is you have just got all your island one nodes in your queue. Now you can actually you have, you can just have any variable that's a flag and you can just break out this whole part because you have to just do a traversal on your island one. So that you have got your all the elements in your queue. Now you can start your multi-source BFS. Cool. I will just start my multi-source BFS by my queue is not empty. I just grab the size, which means I want to do a level wise traversal. Breadth first search, breadth wise traversal. That's the reason I will just grab the size until my size, which means until my that level is not empty. I'll just keep on grabbing the nose of that. I will find the neighbors of that cell, whatsoever neighbors are there, which is nothing but left, right, bottom and top. I will check if that cell, if that neighbor is actually a valid cell or not. And if it is not visited so far, if it is the case, then I will actually go on and, and push that neighbors in my queue and also mark them as visited. But, but, but before pushing and before marking them as visited, if by any how I can see that, oh, I have reached another cell that was one. And as you can see, it is not visited, which means it was not visited by island one. 
it is not visited so it is the island too and it is the land cell it is not visited it is a land cell for sure it is our island too because island two cells were the only cell that were not visited that's the reason i will just return the number of steps which i have been increasing on every of those my as soon as i just grab the level wise traversal which i'm doing i am just increasing my steps ultimately if i am not able to reach then i have to turn a minus one the time complexity is nothing but o of n square because in one step you just went on to island one and did a tfs traversal which is nothing but o of n square as soon as you grabbed the elements of those island one which is nothing but multi source bfs at max you can go up to o of n square again to actually just expand your island one to actually reach island two that is again a o of n square in total you have complexity of o of n square so from o of n raised power four it reduces o of n square that is how beautiful we solved it space is nothing but o of n square space same for q for recursive stack of and efs q of bfs and visited array as we choose to take it and the code for c++ and java is down below exactly same code you can just have this pdf with you open it parallelly as i'm explaining exactly you can see exactly the same code the same function of efs initializing and calling that function of efs to grab that cube and just doing a bfs traversal which is a multi source efs traversal hope that you guys liked it if you have done and you are all right goodbye take care